Again, and welcome to Manch Talk. I am Tammy Simmons Garthwaite, and I'm Carla Garrick, and uh, we are here for the last, I yes, believe, last show. one of the year, and this is the closest I can come to Christmas attire. So it did occur to me, actually, when I was getting dressed, that I was like, oh, I should wear red or green. I realize I don't, and I'm like, I didn't really have anything. I mean, I've got things that if it's a whole outfit, but I was like, I don't really have any red. Like it was just so I, strange. I, I maybe, maybe I'm of the age where I might uh, have. Do an ugly sweater phase? Should I go through an ugly f- sweater phase? I don't even think I have an Let ugly us know Christmas on Facebook. sweater. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. Um, oh. So yeah, this is the last show for 2023. Next week is the week between Christmas and New Year's and the studio is closed, which is, you know, fine by us too. Um, and then we'll be back in January. And that'll be a new year. So do you have any New Year's resolutions? I don't generally do resolutions. Um, I usually, sometimes I make mental goals, you know, like I do make not a list of, not necessarily a checklist, but things that I'm like, okay, I need to get back focused on that. Like, I feel like in 2023, this is going to sound stupid, but in 2023, I feel like I accomplished a lot of outdoor stuff at our house that should have been accomplished during like COVID. You know what I mean? Like just things, stupid things. Like we we redid our deck, so that was a big deal. Um, so, but can I just interrupt you there and ask why do we even frame it that way? What do you mean? That oh, I should have done this well, during I'm, it then just, because all of a then we're no got, because I do that. With, so we, our only goal between now and the end of the year is to finish the floor in the basement, right? Fair. Which we're doing ourselves, right? And we had that same conversation. We should have, like, we bought the stuff during yeah. COVID, and then it was like, you know, and you got to measure, and yeah. it's hard, and, you know, you know it because you've done it. It's it's a project. And at one stage, I was like, we should have had this done by now. Yeah. And I was like, why are we negging on ourselves? Well, th- because it is nice when things are done. Like, apart from me personally, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are like a million things in my back yard area that I could have also done but I did feel like I um eliminated like I tend to accumulate lumber because you know that's what I do (laughs) and you know like leftover lumber I don't like to throw it away um there's no lumber pile right now that I'm aware of (laughs) that Um, I'm aware of I I mean I think you know there's some (laughs) random four by four pieces of course but I did that I um and now that I'm thinking it through I don't even feel like I know what it is about I think I just got rid of piles you know like i hate but these but the, it's progress right and then it's sort of like okay what do we build on for next right. year because i know a lot of people so many people i know say oh i don't do new year's resolutions and i've actually been wondering why where where that came about the new and- year's resolution it does seem strange that like we for like i could always say a lot of people do diet things right which is fine except for for me we don't even do our our annual get together until after the so okay so my new year's resolution if i was going to stop eating whatever right. salt would have to be like except for the next two weeks because you know we're gonna have right party. i guess I so, mean, I, so i think sometimes those are disappointing to people too is well, like well, they make is, they set themselves up for failure so this is kind of what i'm wondering right so so actually my i my thought wasn't uh, where do resolutions come from? My thought was, why does everyone who I know have a visceral bad thing about resolutions? And that everyone's like, I don't do that. Like, and I was like, oh, is that like a weird f- liberty streak? Like, what, what what is that, right? Because I've always done resolutions. And mm-hmm. then I heard so many people saying it. So for a while, I let it slide. And now I'm kind of back to it because um, it, it does really help to like focus a little bit of like oh where am I going next right. year like, what I, I, that's do I want to ca- do like I know I know that I want to camp a lot this coming you know I just do we have a camper that is like, a laudable goal <laughs> well I mean and we try like we it, we don't take you know I read all these people that are, travel all over the place but we don't have that luxury but we do try to do at least a one 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 week trip um, and we're going to try to do a different one every year. And, but that's, so that kicks in in like May. So then I have like between now and May to accomplish other things. So the deck's done. So I can stop thinking about the deck. Um, 
But it's like, oh, I really should this winter do the backsplash on my kitchen wall since it's never been, <laughs> been done. And we've been about a backsplash, you know, and too. like, well, I mean, it, we've been in the so house Tammy like seven do years, it first so that she can figure out how to do it, and then we won't get your advice, and then just, just struggle start. for I, like uh, the two one years. Thing, the one <laughs> thing I've done, I've tiled a couple things. So we we do we've done tile on the floor. Um, I've made all the mistakes. The first time I ever tiled a floor, I tiled from my bathroom over at Parker Street to the front door, and the tile was taller than the door opening, Ooh. so I couldn't open the door. So I had to take the door off the hinges and slice off. Oh, and so, like, yeah. learn, right? Um, in this house, uh, we did the, the threshold near the kitchen door. But I did I'm... read this morning also on that learn thing. Uh, it was a meme that said, don't wait to start something until yeah. you've built the skills because you'll actually learn you'll... the skills right. while you're doing it gen- wrong. Well, like, I mean, as long as you're willing to and be I like, think the, oh, the biggest oops. thing is like um, YouTube. It tell you, it, right. There's so many great YouTube. So when I was tiling the kitchen at Parker Street, which I, there's things I think about now that I'm like, why did I do it that way? Um, because of the way the wall was, I wasn't able to, I didn't want to start at the top of the counter and work up, which is how you need to do it. I will say that. <laughs> um, there's ways You've around it. got that hot tip here, folks. There's ways around it. It's just easier. Now, when we did the fireplace, I had the same problem. I couldn't start at the bottom. I, I mean, I probably could have. If I wanted to draw and end it, I skip those steps. So it is always easier to start tiling from the bottom and work up because the tiles sit on top of each other. When I go to do the backsplash, I don't know how that's going to work because I need it to line up where I'm going to see, which brings you back to that same problem. Yeah. So I am going to try to, I think I'm going to do that because that would be... So I do, these are all house goals. Yeah. Any personal goals? Um, you, like... Oh, I well, I want to, I'd love to find our property, our new property. Ah. In in 2024, I'd like to at least. I would like to help yeah. you find that. <laughs> I a little lakeside, I, right? Yes. Yes. Um, I I I presume I'm going to have to buy land, which that's kind of where my brain is. Which means one, I'd like to find it to start the process moving because I don't want another year to go by. Right. You know, like Dan said, we this was a five year plan when we, and we were two years into it. I think so. We, you know, we want to figure it out. Um. And then if that's the if that's the route I end up having to go, then I would like to learn more myself about um, the process of septic system, like the the parts that I don't. I think I know, right? But I think I'd feel better if I really knew. So that's like that. Um, you know, basic the same old, same old health things. Yeah. Get more active. Right. You know, dog, walk the dog. I mean, more, uh, yeah, we uh, we're dog sitting for Alfredo at the moment, which is like the little bull terrier, bull, box, bull, box, boxer. I don't something. know some very English boxer terrier, thing. very cute, like puggy yeah. little thing. Uh, but strong, like yeah. you know, he he's probably he's a got a lot of, of the pull. size of yeah. Obi, and he's he looking can, like yeah. I mean, he wouldn't be able to pull me over, but yeah. if I'm not paying attention, I'm aware yeah. that he can, like, pull me along. So, yeah. uh, very cute. What about you guys? Finish things around the house right. as it's it is. It's just a good feeling. Um, like, like if I do the backsplash, I think, yeah, I'm still got other kitchen things. And I was like, wait, is that the last? No. <laughs> but it would be one closer, and then maybe we'd be motivated to do the last of the projects. Right. So I feel like uh, getting the floor downstairs yep. done and then probably building out the the, the library down there yep. and like getting some of that stuff rigged uh, on personal stuff. I always like to pick like a word of the year. Mm. So I'm kind of mulling what my word of the yeah. year is going to be like in the past. They've been things like vibrance yeah. or like effort and yeah. ease or like whatever vibe I'm trying to yeah. invite into my life for next year. Um, Louis was saying he thinks his word's going to be urgency. And I was like, oh, then Ooh. I got to make mine like zippy too. So I think <laughs> mine's going to, I, I did pick it before he picked his, but was energy maybe. Mm. And just sort of like, you know, where are we focusing our energy and stuff? Right. Because I had this notion. So I've been watching a lot of, um, like, uh, uh, it's not woo, but it's a lot of like consciousness stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So it's probably like partly Buddhist, I would say, yeah. and, and kind of like in the, the self-help realm, like, you know, where are you focusing your intentions? Yep, yep. Like, what do you want out of life and how do you attract that? The law of attraction, that kind of stuff. 
And then I was watching some silly documentary about a cult where the cult people were joking about the zombie apocalypse in the same way that I might, right? right. Like, I think it's hilarious. We, we throw a zombie apocalypse party with the Bardo folks once a year. Like, it's a standing joke right. in a lot of, like, survivalist, prepper, be prepared for the future kind of uh, mm -hmm. things. But when this person who was in a different culture or subculture said it, it, it really struck me. And I was like, oh, wait a second. Like, is everyone out in the world sort of calling for the apocalypse? And because of the way social media is set up and the way that things are now, like, sort of recorded, mm -mm. I was like, huh. Like, even if people are joking, like, does the universe know when you're joking about it? Like, are we calling up a, hey, it's a funny <laughs> zombie apocalypse, or are we actually calling up an apocalypse, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm back on Twitter after yeah, six months. And, uh, and I have thoughts on that as well. But today, you know, national divorce started trending because the Colorado... Supreme yeah. Court and all its intelligence well, and glory decided that they are not going to let Trump be on the ballot because it, he has not been found guilty of an insurrection, but somehow but they've declared that he is. We right. can come back to that. Finish and, your and and so be, well, it all ties in yeah. because so so what was trending super early this morning was sort of national divorce, people complaining about this, and then civil war, right? And. It occurred to me in that same way that when I heard the zombie apocalypse and I was like, oh, like, are, are, are like a billion actually... people joking about the zombie apocalypse may like draw in some negative yeah. vibes, right? Um, but then with, with the Civil War, I was like, I wonder if this is sort of the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like where you're... You're, you're putting it, I, I, I mean, I have to honestly believe, I mean, I, I am pro-independence, but mm. I would never call for no. civil war. Like, no, I but I never... know what you mean. It's just like, it's just like the way everybody talks about anti-Semitism and racism and everything, because if we keep just yelling about it, it must, must be, be true. Tr right. And, and they're like, wait a minute, I don't think I know any anti-Semites so or racist people. Right. So it's almost who are, like we're where are these people all hiding? It into into the verse, for lack of you know better ways to explain this. Um and and that's sort of manifesting something that is patently not actually real or what people desire, but because the bots can now influence things and and so it's putting out this like note yeah um that that maybe like no one knows that you know half of it's a joke and half of it's not real right. because it's being presented either through you know um uh, yeah, nefarious just... actors behind the scenes. We know that there's a lot of propaganda going on. We mm -hmm. know that a lot of these are like fake accounts, you know, that yep. come and attack you about things. And so it just occurred to me, I was like, I think with that energy notion for next year, it is really, I'm going to try and be extremely mindful about... Perpetuating this. Yeah. yeah I know just, what you mean. Just putting like like positive things out there because for every negative that we identify, and you know, we're both, uh, you know, for limited government, but I could have said I'm anti-state. Right. So what I'm going to try and do... And it is, is a to, discipline. It's just... You have to teach yourself. Yes. It's a language and it's a it's a it's a vibe mm -hmm. <laughs> that you then put out that other people can adopt because you know I watch these people and people are just so rude yep. and so mean and I'm like but that's not is that the world we want to create? So I guess the question becomes, what is the world you want to create and how can you as an individual perpetuate that world and make that ma world manifest as yeah. opposed to no, being agree. against things. Let's be for things. Right. Right. So I do want to circle back. Not that this is Manchester specific, but I mean, it does impact every person in the city of Manchester and every person in this country. So I found the whole Colorado thing. I heard, I read a couple different January 6th related type things in the last few days. One the other day, I, I didn't recognize the name and I didn't take the time to dig, dig in more. There was a gentleman, I think his name was Brandon something. I don't think he's the horn guy. <laughs> well, I, uh, that's where my brain was. Is that the guy with the horn? Because he's actually in jail, I believe. Um, but 
there were a group of officers. This is January 6th, not Colorado. There were a group of officers, black and he's black and brown officers. That's what the thing said. That sued this guy who was at the Capitol on January 6th, right? For violating their civil rights and all this stuff. And he's like, I didn't touch anybody. I didn't have a sign. Like all these things. Like he goes, and some of the plaintiffs weren't even in DC. Hmm. It was like this very strange thing. And I thought, what? So that was weird. And I, I wish I had looked up more. Then yesterday, last night, you, know, you get the news that Colorado has determined that the Supreme Court of Colorado, not the, of the United States, has decided that Trump will not be allowed to be on the ballot um, because they, they have determined, without any due process, that he is responsible he is an, he has he has he is an insurrectionist now and i walk every time this comes up i walk through the living room and i look at whoever's in my living room and go i'm gonna go out on a limb <laughs> and say when if there ever was an insurrection in this country it would be significantly different than what happened on january 6th and i can bet my a beer and a half and a lot that it would include include some sort of weaponry. <laughs> yeah. You know, if somebody was actually trying to do some this awful thing that they keep throwing out there and repeating happened, there would be some But but see, this is that whole thing, right? Because it's almost a collision between I believe we are at some kind of moment in time where we are seeing a collision between perception and reality, yes. right? So the machine has been creating these narratives for years and it was in newspapers and it was fairly controllable because it wasn't a limitless resource like the internet right. is, right? Like, like propaganda has actually become costless in many ways, right? right? Like it is very cheap to, to say and manipulate right. massive amounts of people. What is my proof for that? COVID. Yeah. Um, so Insurrection. Right. So with the insurrection, so now, you know, there's this seeding of this word. That word has probably been used millions, if not billions and of times. And people just fall into this trap that, well, well, you know, January 6th. And I'm like, no, I, I know what January 6th is. And honestly, because I've been at protests that go a little haywire and you're like, oh, you're just caught up in the energy. I didn't see anything that day other than the person who got murdered. Right. I mean, there were people who obviously shouldn't have been doing certain things. You know, you don't steal things from... Oh, you, okay, but... You also don't, I don't know, film films in the Senate where you're butt naked. Right. Okay. I mean, so I, but, you know... No, so it's that weird. was the first thing I saw when I got back on Twitter. Like, I had this moment. So I'm back on Twitter, which happened the following way. Last week, I don't know if this had anything to do with it, but I did contact someone I knew in in uh, in the tech world, and I was like, "Do you know anyone at like Twitter legal? Because like I'm about to sue people." Um, I don't know if that actually went up the flagpole, yeah. but then I got a receipt for my Elon Musk subscription, my four dollars he's been stealing from me for the past six months. Um, I will take the twenty four dollars with extra zeros. Um, back <laughs> and anyway so so um i got this paid receipt and i was like oh i'm gonna try this one as well right mm -hmm. like so i'm just trying email addresses for months now and i would just get these auto responses so this one i was like before i sue you you know and maybe that flagged the yeah. bot or yeah. whatever anyway so then within 10 minutes i had a person and they're like oh we reviewed it we made a mistake we're so sorry you're in right cool. and i'm like Part of me is like, nah, but the most of me is just like, yay. So I'm back on Twitter. And the immediate three things I see is I think North Korea blew some missiles somewhere in the some ocean. This guy was having uh, gay porn sex in the Senate or something, uh, Congressional Senate, and something about Hunter Biden actually right and immediately I was like, my blood pressure yeah, went and up. you're like, maybe this I was, was like, a maybe I was better off not. Honestly, I have, oh, I have a Twitter like, account, and the only I I can't even tell you, I have probably actually different than a sharing. I've probably shared a dozen things in the last year or two. I'm probably if I've made 
a half a dozen tweets in the last couple of years, I'd be actually surprised. So I have an account. And every once in a while, you know, Dan will send me a link or something. And, like, he, he watches the Twitters. Right. <laughs> I just go, whatever. I mean, I guess it is a good and, way to, to, to be very on see, the minute. Yes. But also going back to that sort of notion of where are we focusing yes, our attention. It's not, it's not a good it's, uh, use uh, of your it, emotions. It's, it's exactly. It's exploitative of, of like your mood. And then again, back to that idea of where are we focusing our attention? Mm -hmm. Like, are you mindfully? Because then yeah. you feel that. Like, and then I, you're I wound actually, up. Then, you're, then you can't not stop because you got to say, well, I just got to make sure I know what that last person said. And Actually, I'm quite lucky because one of the things I did do over the past six months because I didn't have Twitter was to really try and train myself. The minute I feel that doom, doom scroll, as they call yeah. it, so the minute my finger does this on the screen, yeah, you said, I stop. Yeah. And, you know, maybe that's... Because then you're like, wait. Mm. Maybe that's a takeaway that folks can do back home. Um, uh, for people who are kind of looking for, like, general things that might improve their health, mm. Uh, in 2024, uh, word on the street is, uh, and I'm not a doctor, and I wouldn't take my legal advice either. So just, just, just for those understand that uh, seed oils, really yeah. starting to look at what has seed oils in yeah. it, and trying to get that out of your your uh, diet. The science behind that is pretty compelling now that it is uh, not good for you. Right. So that's everything from. Sunflower, canola, canola yeah. you know, all, of all those oils. I mean, that you're better off with olive oil, avocado, avocado oil, oil, and vegetable oil. Like, just stay with what worked for decades. So, our parents uh, didn't, I mean, our parents cooked with Crisco, and that's probably better than half of these oils that we're now using. Right. So, so yeah, avocado, coconut oil, uh, olive oil, lard, uh, ghee. Butter, for a second, I thought you butter. were saying the ones that were bad for you. I'm like, no, no, no. Here's these are my the brain ones going, you should. Oil. No, no, no. 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 Yeah, these are all the ones you so should many use. Things. Yeah. yeah. So it's not like, because the thing is, if you just do that one thing and you watch your ingredients. It usually changes up your diet a little you and can, improves. You will probably eliminate like so much processed food, which yeah. would be the other part of that equation, right? But sometimes people aren't ready for it. So seed oils, uh, Eating less carbs probably is going to help everyone because it eliminates well, a little bit to of be the honest, sugar. Even like even with bread, if you make your own bread and you're putting olive oil and all those things in it and in right. regular flour, right? Yep. It's that much better than if you pick up a loaf of regular bread. Like we do eat bread, but when I buy it, I like to buy the I think it's Jessica's, and it's I mean it's like four dollars a loaf, but it. At least it feels like it's bread. You know, like if I'm <laughs> right. going to eat bread, I want bread. Yep. And it probably is just less ingredients than a processed loaf right. of bread that's coming out of a factory machine. And here are two more tips that cost you nothing. One, hydrate. If yes. everyone just started if drinking ever, way more water. I remember year, years ago reading an article, and I forget what the ounces was. It was a significant amount, like 40 ounces. You're actually 40 supposed ounces. to drink like half your weight in ounces? Yeah. So, so it's let's a lot. say, let, let's say, say I weigh 200 if you pounds, do, you're supposed to drink 100 ounces you do, a day. If you did nothing else except for increase to this amount of water every day, nothing else, change nothing else, you would, over a year's time, you would lose 10 pounds. Like, it just would. I, I, because I, your body can't, your body needs to be able to flush out toxins and flush out fats and flush out all these different things. And it literally, I mean, you know... Everybody, whether you realize or not, you know what it feels like when you're actually dehydrating. Mm. You know, like when you when you don't feel well and you've got a cold and your system's just like, you know, and you're like, I just need a glass that's of cranberry water, juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like cranberry juice is like my, that's the one. Like some people, yeah, yeah, I can just, cranberry juice makes all the world better. And then so water, which is pretty much free. I mean, uh, we could quibble about tap water, but just but it's start water. with hydration and sleep. Yes, which is totally I, free. Yeah, um, I definitely, we have definitely improved our sleeping. Um, sometimes I think I might sleep too much. I don't think. That, no, I like, mean, I just wonder if, like, I better, I'm a, I don't want. Function better yeah, when you have a little like, rest. And just achiness. Like, you know, your body gets, you're laying like this for 
too many hours. So, yeah. And it, it get lazy, oh. and you're like, okay, so maybe another half an hour. Oh, maybe another. And next oh, thing you know, the day, and uh, so I need to get up. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, that is actually a tip that people do say. Like, I don't use an alarm at all anymore, but I just, you know, I like. I mean, we wake, wake up, up on, we the, wake up <laughs> whether dog. there's an alarm or not, but. Dan has his thing on his phone and that rings and then he snoozes. I mean, he never gets up on the first time. And then Google tells us about the day, which is kind of cool because you're like half awake and it tells you, you know. I mean, Alexa's also been warning us about all the inclement weather. I mean, oh there was God. a lot of flooding. Um, yes. I know we're going to run against time, but I did want to bring up this idea to you. You know how we've talked on the show about government? There is an app for that. Yeah. So I was out with uh, the doggos on the rail trail yeah. going from the west ice arena towards town towards downtown yeah. and there were three trees down like yeah. there were homeless people with trolleys and they were like warning me about the ones down you know like it was you couldn't actually use right. the path and i thought wow this would have been the perfect opportunity for the city does have a ticketing system yes and you can drop pins in them right so if we took that system and we sort of leveled up a little bit where it was like you as a manchkin can be like oh there's a tree down here i can go and take care of that and and a flag goes up, no, and then people who want to provide the service can be like, I got that one yeah. and I'll do it for Fair. 20 bucks. Now we don't have to pay pensions. We don't have to hold insurance for those people. You can make it a, a, yeah. a, 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 a cost of doing business is you have to carry your own insurance. Yep. And you could free market 90% of the services that are provided by the city uh, just with an app. Government, there's an app for that. Tech can answer our problems. So I was like, I think we should try and convince Jay that we do a little test. Yeah, of, so be... maybe just for fallen trees, and we try that, or well, for plowing. Or, or... Uh, I mean, when you're on the fallen tree, I would notice the 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 curve on Varney Street has so many leaves along the curb and along the sidewalk because there's no house there. And I thought, so how come nobody who's who's ever going to clean that? Because yeah. apparently the city's not right. But maybe there's somebody could flag it and like, and then I mean because I don't know. because again like we could bring it full circle. Cost, you know, technology is making a lot of things much more accessible and costless. I mean, I understand the cloud is not yeah. costless, but you know, compared to no, but how much we get for what we're doing, right. like we're just on the cusp of like people just have to accept. Things are going to change, and it's going to be awesome, and that they should just get out of my way and let me do it. <laughs> um, so while we're wrapping up, um, enjoy your summer, um, summer. Christmas. <laughs> well, I'm, it's going to be almost 50 on Christmas oh, Day. Oh, okay. Um, I see what you mean. I, I look at the let, the 10 days. The day after Christmas is in the 50s. Uh, oh, wow. This is a strange uh, rain, a strange bunch of weather we've had um i do think it was an el nino year in which case it that explains why we're having it doesn't mean winter's not coming it just means it probably won't be here for I mean, a but bit could you imagine this was if that I, was snow easter mm -mm. like we would have had mm -mm. snow up to here already. um so enjoy the weather you know it's it, it's not a white christmas but it's you know it's a nice it's not ice <laughs> right it's a nice nice non not ice, ice. Not ice um, Christmas. Not and <laughs> you know make sure you slow down and enjoy this time it's that too many people are stressed out over christmas and christmas should be a time to be able to enjoy the people you're with and take time to enjoy things and be peaceful and, and lay your basement floor <laughs> lay your basement floor and um we will be back after the new year yep. um with obviously more things uh we'll be swearing in a new mayor soon and and um, we'll be off to a new 2024. Enjoy your holidays. Be safe. Take care.